Hi everyone, welcome to our fourth journaling session. I'm really excited about today because we're going to be talking a little bit about bullet journaling, which is used to sort of set a goal or set a structure in your life that you'd like to incorporate on a daily or regular basis. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And you're going to need your journal. I'm using a ruler today. Grab your magazine. Um, that's optional, but I like to use my magazine. I'm using wash tape and my glue stick. I also grabbed some markers today. If you don't have markers, that's okay. You can use whatever you have, but also you don't need them. I just like to incorporate a little bit of color. So let me show you a little bit what today is going to look like. So on this page of my bullet journal, I'm going to set up a morning routine on the left side of the spread. And the right side of the spread is like a monthly goal that I have set for myself. So that could be anything. That could be like an exercise goal, an eating healthy goal, um, any type of goal that you'd like to set for yourself. I think it's good to do that just so you can sort of work towards something and then feel good about something when you've accomplished it. So I'm going to start by setting up a morning routine on this side. But before I do that, I just want you to know that I have cut out some magazine clippings um, to incorporate on the side of the page to give it a little bit of decoration. So to get these circles, I just traced my magazine over these pages that were waves, and then I cut them out. And I've got a little heart, and I found a tiny little quote that says, relax and enjoy. I wanna to remember to enjoy my mornings, not just rush and feel like I have to get up and do everything that I have to do for the day. And I just cut out these little daisies. So I'm gonna need my glue stick for that. If you wanna pause the um, video so that you can flip through a magazine and find some clippings, you can go ahead and do that now or you could do it afterwards, um, up to you. So I'm going to grab um, a marker so that I can start by writing morning at the top and you can do that however you'd like. Sometimes it's easier for me to fold my journal when I'm writing. So sometimes I like to practice in pencil, but other times I just go for it. So I'm just gonna take my time and carefully write morning at the top so that's really clear. And you don't necessarily have to look at this every morning but I think that for me, especially someone who needs a schedule being out of school, it really helps me to have a mini agenda in place for myself for when I wake up. Sometimes I wake up and I feel anxious because I have so many things that I actually need to do and I need to remind myself to just take a little bit of time for myself in the morning and just enjoy it. So I wrote morning at the top of my page with my marker. Like I said, you don't have to be using a marker right now. Um, and then I'm going to grab one of my pens. And I'm going to give my lettering a little outline. So I'm just going to take my sharp pen and choose some lines of my letter to outline and make my letter stand out a little bit more. So I didn't go over all the lines in my letter. I just chose some random spots to use my fine tip pen and go right next to my letter to make it really stand out because sometimes with the marker, it's hard to see what you wrote. So you can go ahead and be doing this at the same time as me. If you don't want to choose a morning routine, you could choose an evening routine, or you could leave it open-ended and not choose a time of day, just sort of like a daily routine that you would like to incorporate into your day somehow throughout the summer. So, I'm just going ahead and going over my letters with my pen. Picking some spots to outline with my fine tip marker. 
And you can be thinking about right now, like what, are the, what is something that I do wanna do on a regular basis? Okay, so I wrote morning and I chose my fine tip pen to sort of outline it. Now I want to make a numbered list. So I'm going to grab my ruler and stick to the left side of my page and I'm going to draw a six inch, I'm not gonna do a line though, I'm going to do mini lines. So I'm gonna do, or a dashed line, I'm going to do a quarter of an inch line, a quarter of an inch line down the page. You might wanna think about how many things you'd like to incorporate in your routine before you do this. So I just did a dashed line going down the left side of my spread because I'm going to create little boxes out of these dashed lines. And this will make sure using my ruler that they are all straight. It's okay if they're different sizes. I'm not a perfectionist. I don't care if these boxes are different sizes um, or a little bit off, but maybe you do care. So I just created, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve boxes going down the side of my page. And then I'm gonna grab a different pen to write my numbers inside of. So I'm going to number these boxes so that I can keep track of all the things that I'm doing in the morning. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, my friends, I've wrote my time of day for this routine and I've numbered some boxes to think about what things I'd like to do in the morning. So you can decide if you'd like to glue these down before or after you start writing. So first things first, um, it doesn't have to be a full task that you have to accomplish. You can just keep it simple by writing, wake up. The first thing I'm going to do in the morning is wake up. You know why? Because it feels good to cross off something that you are going to do either way. Sometimes I just write things down that I've already done just to cross them off. <laughs> um, the second thing I'm going to write is meditate. In the morning, I like to meditate for 10 minutes and set a timer on my phone so that I don't just jump right onto my phone. I just spend a little bit of time waking up naturally and getting ready for the day, setting an intention, thinking about something that I would like to focus on, like a happy thought or a positive thought. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is write, make my bed. I make my bed every day um, just because it makes me feel more organized and more accomplished. So it's just a good way to start your day by writing some or setting up your bed, cleaning it, not like coming up to your room later in the day and it looking messy. That's just something that I like to do. It's the first thing I like really accomplish in the day. Um, drink a glass of water. And you could be writing like little doodles next to your, um, next to each thing if you'd want to do that. You could write, you could just do draw a little like icon or symbol next to these things that help you remind you, help and remind you of what it is you want to do. Drink a glass of water, um, brush my teeth. We do that every day, hopefully. Um, I'm also going to write um, work out or, sh or yoga, whether it's 10 minutes or 25 minutes. Doing a little bit of exercise in the morning really helps me get ready for my day and feel like centered and like I accomplished something. Um, I'm going to write shower. I could do a little water symbol 
next to that. Um, brush my hair. See what I mean? These are like tiny little things that don't need to be big tasks. They could be put my toys away from the night before or organize my desk in my room or um, maybe pick up my clothes off the floor. They don't need to be like monumental things that you have to do every single morning. Um, eat breakfast. Maybe you wanna write journal in your journal to remind you that in the morning it would be nice to write down things that you dreamt about or something that you'd like to accomplish the day or something that happened yesterday that you want to write down. So maybe you want to incorporate journaling as part of your morning routine, I don't know. Um, or maybe you want to doodle or do something in a sketchbook. Maybe you want to start your day with some art. I'm not sure how you start your day, but you can come up with your own list. Um, so I'm gonna write journal just in case that's something somebody would want to do. Journal, read, set daily to do list. Okay, so here's my list. I've got 12 things that I wrote down. I've got my morning fonts picked out. I'm going to grab my glue stick and this is kind of the fun part. Like, think about where you want to incorporate some of these magazine clippings. And you might want to arrange them on the page, figure out where they go first before you glue them down. I'm just going for it with this one, going here. Think about overlapping. Hmm. So I'm just gluing down some of these magazine clippings. They're good to use if you don't have stickers. Um, because stickers can be like kind of expensive. So just cut out bits and pieces of magazines and create your own stickers. Okay, so I'm gluing down my last clipping. If you wanna pause the video and find some for your own page, you can go ahead and do that now or later, totally up to you. Now, the second thing I'm doing is my goal that I've set for myself on this page. So for me, oh, you're gonna laugh when you see my goal. My goal is to drink a gallon of water a day. So this is my water bottle that I lug around with me. It's sort of like exercise in the same um, sort of goal. So I try to drink a gallon of water a day because it makes me feel better. So this is my goal um, for the month of June. So now that you've seen my gigantic water bottle, I'm gonna take a sip and put it down. Um, I'm going to create a tracker to see if I am accomplishing this goal. So you want to find a big, a round object, it doesn't have to be big, I don't know why I said that, a, a round object to help you um, trace a circle. So for me it's this mug and I'm using my marker again to trace a perfect circle. Um, and I'm gonna grab my ruler because on this page, I'm going to use this circle to track whether or not I have drank a gallon of water. For you, it could be something completely different. It could be something like making your bed every day. It could be exercising every day. It could be eating fruits and vegetables every day. Um, totally up to you. Maybe I'm gonna grab my pen now. and draw some straight lines in here. Two. And then I'm just gonna draw, uh-oh, draw some straight lines throughout my circle to create how many days are there in, July, in June. 
there are whatever a, a certain amount of days however many days in the month you want to figure out before you start doing this so that you can get the exact right number for that month so I just start by almost cutting it like a pie like I go in half and then I go the opposite direction and I just turn my ruler continuously slicing the pie trying to get it the most even. You might have a better way of doing this than I do. A um, more technical way of doing this. Um, and then we can number them after. So let's see, how many days are there? In? There are 20, no. There are 30 days in June. So I'm gonna grab my marker and write June really big at the top. June. And then I want to remember what this goal is. So underneath it, I'm going to write, I'm going to write June again. I like how this looks. I saw that people online do two different types of lettering on top of each other. So I wrote June, but then I wrote June again, sort of in cursive on top of it. June, water, tracker. Okay, so I've got the month and I've got my goal right here. And then I've, this is where I'll be actually writing it down. So let's see, let's start here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, I need a lot more. A lot more than that. So I'm going to keep cutting my pie in half. And going across the middle, finding the bigger sections. I bet you guys can figure out a better way to do this than I am. I think I need one more. I am just guessing though. Okay, so my circle is not perfect. I don't care. Um, and then I'm going to grab another marker to r number these slices that I have created. So I'm gonna start here. One, two, three. And I'm just going around hoping that these are right. You'll be more meticulous than I am to make sure that you get the right number of days. 16, 17. And then each day that you complete your goal, you fill it in. Okay. So I've numbered my pie. I've got the month and I've got my goal. So each day that I do this, let's say, June 1st, I completed my goal. I can grab my colored pencil and come over here and fill in this triangle. This will help you um, complete your goal and track whether or not you're meeting your goal. You could also come up with a, a key at the bottom. Like, let's say you want to make a little rectangle at the bottom, divided into four different sections. And then it could be, this color could mean completed. This color could mean almost completed. This one could mean kinda completed, sort of the same thing. Your key will make more sense. And then <laughs> the last square can mean not completed. And then you can come up with different colors. So if I didn't complete it, it will be orange. If I did complete it, it will be blue. If I, 
definitely completed, almost completed red, kind of completed yellow. You can obviously make your key completely different. Your goal can be different. You can make this goal for August instead of June or July. Um, and your tracker can look completely different too. You could do a picture of whatever it is your goal is. So I could have done a drawing of my water bottle and had 30 different sections in my water bottle and colored it based on whether or not I had completed the goal for the day. So there are a variety of ways to do this type of journaling. This is just a simplified way to track a specific goal that you'd like to do for a month. And then on this spread, I've got my morning routine, things that I want to do every single morning. It could be for evening. It could be daily. It could even be weekly if you don't want to be bothered to track something on a daily basis. So there are a variety of different ways that you can go about this type of journaling. It's called bullet journaling if you'd like to look it up. Um, and get some other ideas. This is just some ways that I like to do it. So I hope you had fun, my friends, and I hope that you try to incorporate some bullet journaling in your life. It's a lot of fun and incorporates a little bit of structure in the summertime when you don't have as much structure. So I hope that was fun for you and I will see you next week.